and welcome back. I'm um, going to take the food out to take out that fire. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't know if I need that spoon. So, I hope everybody had a great week. Uh, we did. Um, we are not going to make something sweet this week because that cake, while delicious, was was a bit heavy, it was a bit much. So uh, we're gonna forego desserts this week, uh, which we haven't done in a really long time. This so is a long it's just, spoon. It's a long spoon. To pick up the fire, I'm gonna pick up the fire with this spoon. Yeah. Um, we're going to make something that I make almost every week normally these days, which is English muffins. Um, it's a many step process, but it's it's pretty easy and each step really doesn't take that long. So uh, we're starting out with making our starter. Uh, this recipe uses a starter. Uh, this is the first time I've used a starter with bread. Uh, I've never made sourdough. David actually got me a sourdough starter kit for Mother's Day, but I haven't Bye. tried it yet and I want to test that out before uh, attempting to record all of that. Are you moving it close to me? I'm going to move it close to you because you are going to put the fire in there. I am, thank you. We're going to use three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, uh, a teaspoon of yeast, and a half a cup of water. Just mix that up and let it sit anywhere from one to 12 hours. I usually do the full 12, but I'll probably just do about half of that today. You can uh, make the dough around seven, right, right before she goes to bed. And I'll then move it back. we let it sit. Uh, you can let it sit up to three days in the refrigerator, but I usually do it about a day, a day and a half later. So then we'll get to do that. So let's get our starter started. Oh, you can still hold it. Perfect. Very necessary step. Okay. And now we're gonna put the yeast in. Yes, now you can put the yeast in. Be careful. You can hold it from the side. There you go. Thank you. And then some water. I use warm water. Um, and you can use, I think you can use either type of yeast. Um, the recipe says active. I have both, so I'll just use that. So right now it's just very, but then it gets really easy and kind of smooth and shiny. You look so cool. <laughs> so it says to do this for like a hundred strokes. Um, I'm not counting, but... You can see it gets this kind of silky looking texture. Oh, Don't put it not on great. the counter. I won't put it on the counter. So we're going to just cover this with some plastic wrap. We'll cover this with plastic wrap. There we go. All right, and usually this will uh, completely bubble up and uh, stick to the top before deflating a little bit. And I so we will part here and uh, check in with you guys in a little bit. And we're back for the next part, which is just making the dough. So we have all of our ingredients, including our starter. Yes, it did pop up. And it's nice and bubbly. Let's see if we can get a... Ooh, it's even like crinkling. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mix the starter with a cup of milk and uh, another I... teaspoon of yeast. Hold the handle. And we'll pour it right in there. All right, and if you've noticed my... Uh, I got sleeved no. over supper. No, no, no. Okay, no, so no. we'll pour all of our starter in here. It came, it looks like it came so close to the, to the plastic wrap, but not quite. So it was uh, fermenting for about seven hours. I want to mix it out to it. I want to mix it. Uh, it's hard to mix, actually. So we want to... Get the starter to break down in the milk and the yeast. Just nice and frothy. Okay, so next we're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. And a 
teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. Now let's be careful. I don't want to get any hearts in the dough. So we do have our stand mixer out again today and now we're going to alternate adding a half a cup at a time of all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour. You can just use all-purpose flour, but the recipe I'm using, I'm actually following one of the, um, the comments on it, and I really like, I think we all really like how Happy it comes out. Woohoo! So we'll just start with all-purpose flour because it's closer. The whole wheat. The whole wheat. Half a wheat, not the whole wheat, not this time. We let that uh, mix for about five minutes in the stand mixer. Whilst mixing, I found a sticker in there, so pulled him out. Hopefully he's the only one. And we're just going to knead it a few times on the counter and then oil that same bowl and put the dough back in there to rest and rise overnight. Put our beautiful dough ball in there, slide it around. There you go. I'm just gonna cover that and pop that in the fridge and we'll see you soon. What's in there? That is up. the dough. It did puff up. Okay, it's the next day. We are back. It's cold. It's cold. Just took it out of the refrigerator. Oh, it's got a nice little bubble on top, but as you can see, it rose a lot. I want to see the bubble. You see the bubble? I wanted to show you how, uh, how I set up my workspace when making the English muffins. Um, I've got my big silicone mat here, it's dusted with flour, and I've got my scale so I can portion everything. And Evelyn has her mat there. And then we come across to the other side of the sink. I have two more smaller mats that are dusted in cornmeal. So once I, I roll and flatten them on the other side, then I'll transfer them over here. And once they're all done, that, that's when they get covered with plastic wrap and they wait here until they go on the griddle. All right, we've got our dough dumped out and we're going to portion it out into 12 even pieces. Um, so that's why I use a scale because it's just easier that way. It's like mommy does. It's like mommy does. Does? Yeah. I oh, like nice. I like plastic wrap. You like plastic wrap? But I don't eat. All right, let's see how... Oh, I was. We need them to be about three ounces each. Perfect. Yeah. I just put a little bit of in both hands. I just put a little bit of in both hands. You're flipping it up in both hands? Nice. All right, we've got them all portioned out. Evelyn has her little ball of dough too. Make a really tiny English muffin. So we are just going to kind of pull all of the dough to the bottom and then I pinch it all together and there's a ball on top and I just roll it in some flour and squish it. Squish it. Squish it. Squish it. And now I'll, I'll transfer it over to my prepared mats over here. And as you might have noticed when I was showing you the workspace, we have the griddle out because you don't bake these in the oven. You cook them on the griddle or on the on the stove top but we have the griddle so we're going to use it Let's see some things we did this week we we went to target it was her first time at target in gosh at least five months um she was super good kept her mask on the whole time didn't touch anything um the things she did want to hold i did have a, a clorox wipe so i wiped them down beforehand just just to be on the safe side and we got some new sneakers. Yeah, yeah they're so pretty. 
Oh, we went to the pool a few times this week. Yeah. yeah. We went this morning. We had every intention of going this morning, but there were a lot of people when we got there. We're going to go to the pool. Maybe. Maybe later. Well, it was a little busy, so we, we stayed in the splash pad area and we played there for about 20 minutes before coming home because it was getting close to the nap time. We have moved her nap time to be a little earlier because she was a bit difficult this week. So um, uh, we figured we would try it. She usually goes to bed at 1.30. Maybe she was just getting tired earlier. So we've been doing that for the better part of the week and so far so good. She's already up from her nap and she's, she's in a great mood so far. She's been on a kick of measuring things. She's got a ruler now and uh, whenever we leave our tape measure out, she'll grab it and, and measure things. Um, be here, mommy. Uh, I'll let you decide for yourself if you see a pattern emerging. Wow. 24 pounds. Wow, 24 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's going to measure the balloon. Okay. Because there's pop. It's like that. This one is 44 pounds. And that's going to measure the other balloon. I can measure super soon. Mm, no, don't measure Super J. I don't think he would like that being near him. Let's find that other balloon. I don't see any. Wow. That's a four That's amazing. That is big. Mm. There's a puzzle we are working on. We did the sky first because that's the boring part. And it was like half the puzzle. About to do four pounds. There's a mice. <laughs> so it'll be the frisbee. Okay, let's measure the frisbee. About to do four pounds. That's amazing. That's amazing. About to do four pounds. That's amazing. Wow, to do four pounds. That's amazing. And it's amazing that everything is 24 pounds. Wow, Teddy Four Pounds. Wow, Teddy Four Pounds. That's amazing. I don't know where you got 24 pounds. Wow, Teddy Four Pounds. That's amazing. Hey, cookies are counting. Okay, huh? here is a cookie. Teacher. You're welcome. To eat. Okay, how many chips are in that cookie? Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, six. So where does it go in the cookie jar? Oh, uh, my up here. Oh, you're so good. I want to put flour on it. You want some flour on it? Yeah. There you go. Something else that we've been working on is practicing throwing a frisbee. Oh, that's not how you play with it. I like your new sneakers. Do you like your new sneakers? No. You want to try throwing the frisbee? No. I think you can do better. Want to try? Whoa! That went so far. Ah! <laughs> Let's just leave him alone, okay? Does have a big tail. Yeah, he has a big tail. Can you jump in the grass? Maybe he's gonna jump into the grass. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it to you. You wanna catch it? Oh, so close. I catch it like Oh, that's not how frisbees work. You wanna pick it up and throw it to me? No, you can't throw it to me. Oh, can I? Alright, go long. Oh, no. And mommy, mommy, play with that mommy, almost mommy, every day. Mommy. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Mommy, 
could be the frisbee to the pool later. Oh, we could probably bring the frisbee to the pool. What the other one, Mom? <laughs> I want the other one. I want the other one. I need more of it though. Do you want, are you done with this one? Yeah. Do you want me to put it on the, the pad with the others? Yeah, and okay. then I could have the other one. Oh, the other one. Okay, you want to flatten that one? Yeah. Yeah. Are you almost done? Because I'm on my last one already. I am almost done with this one. One more flower on there. And I am almost done with this one. All done? No, I okay, am I almost... can put it with the others. Okay. Say bye bye. Bye bye. And I'm just gonna cover these up with some plastic wrap. My favorite. I need to, oh, come on. Come on. We are gonna let this rise for about an hour or two and then we'll pop them on the griddle and that'll be it. All the hard work is done. We'll see you soon. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half. Um, so we're going to take our first batch and put them on the griddle. It's somewhat therapeutic, in my opinion, to lift these, uh, these little dough balls up. I don't know why. While these were rising, we, uh, we took a walk to the pool again to see if there, uh, there were less people, but it was still pretty crowded. And, and by crowded, I don't mean overcrowded. Um, just we would have been one too many families in there. So otherwise there, there weren't too many. There were three other groups in there all kind of spaced out in, in the pool. So we, we just came back and now David and Evelyn are outside riding her bike. She's pretty bummed about it. Now, I just put these on. It's been, I guess, about 30 seconds. I'm gonna set my timer for six minutes and then we'll flip. And I got her little English muffin here. And these just came in the mail. Um, I bought some reusable uh, silverware, bamboo silverware. Uh, so when we start going back to the parks, we don't have to use the plastic throwaway ones all the time. And came with a set of two with a little bottle opener, so pretty excited. You want to hold them? Okay, let us take these guys off. And here's our first one. All right. All right, I'll get the second batch on. Lynn, do you want to eat your little... Your little English muffin? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come here. All right, don't touch the, the griddle is hot. Oh, come here. Ooh, we're still in our bathing suit. Burp. Mm, is it yummy? Mm. Yeah. All right, this second batch is coming <gasps> off. final product. Um, we're not going to have any now because it's almost supper time and we're making a pizza tonight. A stuffed crust pizza. I can do that in another video because it's a lot of fun. So uh, we will open these up for you tomorrow morning for breakfast. can already tell you they're really yummy, but I want you to see the inside for yourselves. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I told you it was a long process. Okay, so it's the next morning. I've already perforated around the edges of this one. And here we go. Going in the toaster now. Well, thank you for being with us on our English muffin journey. Uh, we, we made it to the pool this morning. It's the next day. So I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.